Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Blueprint Basics, the reroute node. I've whipped up a quick little example here. Hopefully, this won't take much time. So the reroute node is something they added in one of the more recent versions, maybe eight or so months ago at this time of writing or recording, technically. And it was added because blueprints can become a giant spaghetti monster mess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you exactly what I mean by that. Let's say we have a switch on int. Mm, let's add a few different pins here. And there we go. Let's just go with that. And then let's say in here we had a, oh, I don't know. We'll just do a print string. And uh, we need to actually have a variable here. We'll call this one stuff. We'll make stuff an integer. And we need to get stuff, and then we need to put stuff in there. So then we have that one. And then, well, let's see, after that, then maybe we need to get the game mode. Which obviously is not working. Oh, because I can't pull it off. It's in. There we go. We'll get the game mode, and then we'll cast our game mode to generic game mode. And then maybe we want to, I don't know, I don't even think I have anything inside of there. I don't know. And then we want to do that, and then maybe we want to do, oh, we'll do an if. But then our if is going to be if we have, like, a number, we'll make a literal int. Because why not? And we'll do a greater than. And then we'll put that into here. And then in here, maybe we want to, I don't know, get the player character and then I know we can cast to generic character and then I know the generic character has get health I uh, will go with the health int because we're comparing ints and we have that and then, I mean we're just starting to get into a massive chunk of nodes here and apparently I can't move this one there we go let me make this one pure so that way I don't have to hook it up. There we go. So I mean, we have a bunch of stuff here. And this is just for one switch on int. What are we going to do when... Well, I mean, I guess I could move these things like that. And then, then we have our next switch on int. And what if our next switch on int is the same thing? And we have this giant mess. And we just have this giant mess of stuff. And then we have some execute nodes going all over the place. And I mean, I guess we could move this one down here maybe. But then when our next one, these are all extra stuff. So reroute nodes were added to basically allow you to reroute nodes instead of taking this fixed position. You can drag off, let's drag off of three here, and you could go to add reroute node, and it adds just basically a pin. That's it. That is all a reroute node is. We can do another one and add a reroute node. And it allows you to move and organize things to make them cleaner. Now, another easier way is double click. So, for example, something like this, what I would do is double click here, add a reroute node, maybe drag this over, move these like this so that way they're organized. Then I can move this over so that way we have a little bit of an execution there. See, this one's okay. These ones are a little bit funky. I mean, maybe you want to do something like this and see how everything's under here. And then this could go like this. Maybe you need, for example, okay, so we have that. So we're good there. And then this one, well, you know, we could leave it like this. Oops, if we can select everything. And maybe move it straight. And those things, this isn't as bad right here. But then let's say when we're done, after our switch on it, we want all of them to print out something at the end. So we'll do another print string. And we'll try spelling print string correctly this time. There we go. And this one's going to be, you know, end execute. So now we're done. And then we can go here, and then we'll go here, and then, you know, we'd have more down here. You know, why not? Let's just copy, paste. And let's make four of them. Why not? Because we have four switches. So then we go down here. Then we, oh, we got a fourth one over here. We have to drag it, find where, oh, that was, did I make four copies? Yeah, there's a fourth one. We got that one plugged in there. Of course, now we got nodes overlapping each other and overwriting. So, you know, maybe we do something like this. Oh, then this one needs an execute wire here, maybe. 
And then we take and move some stuff over. And basically it allows you to, as you can see, I'm basically redrawing the order and flow of my nodes and my wires to try to give them a little bit more visual appeal. That way I can easily see that each of my reroute nodes are hooked up to different sections of this octopus here. And we can actually see, instead of things going over each other, we can see four separate branches fairly easy. Now the other nice thing, like I said, now we've got this final one here. Well, reroute nodes can also be used for inputs. So for example, I could right click and add a reroute node here, or I could just click here, and then I could take this input and drop it into there, this input and drop it into there. And actually we can hold down, I want to say control, there we go, and drop it into there, and then put the reroute node there. And then we have this nice line that all of them go into. So something like that, for example, rather than this giant mess that goes into our print string, and we can actually see here very clearly, all of them end up in this one node right here, and this node feeds into our print string. And of course, you know, you can reroute things as needed too. You could do something like that. There we go, see? Now we don't have wires. We have no wires running on top of each other. All of our wires are separate. We have four separate paths that you can see fairly easy. Obviously, you know, you can move things, make things a little, you know, something like that. Do something, you know, maybe you want to make this where it comes out to you here. It makes it straighter. And you could just, you can play with it. But the nice thing is reroute roads, reroute nodes give you the ability to adjust exactly what it's going to look like. And you can get clear execution without overlapping of wires. So, let's see, here's another one. We'll move this one down. Yeah, we move this one even farther down like that. There we go, see? Okay, so that is going to wrap up our reroute node video. Uh, it only took about a minute to explain what a reroute node is, but I showed you a couple ways of using them. Hopefully you can use them to clean up your blueprints, keep things a little bit cleaner. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.